Hey guys, I'm me over here. Connie. We're here at uh, Scorpion Park Trail. This one is probably like a easy, medium. Uh, the beginning is really easy. Uh, just follow through. You'll, um, we'll show you the exact path because uh, it'll deviate a little bit and then it'll take you directly to uh, some caves. Once you get in the caves, you scale up it and you come up on top, all the way to the top of the hill. Um, so kids can do it. It can get a little tricky, um, sketchy in some little areas, but it's not it's not terrible. Yeah, and uh, past the caves, um, I think that's usually like the stopping point for a lot of people, the caves. Mm -hmm. um, but you can keep going up top. Um, it's it's tiring, but it's well worth it. You see the whole valley. It's beautiful. Alrighty, so uh, well, let's enjoy. If you guys remember from the first video, I said there was a couple of guys that join us all the time, but they decided to stay home. He's one of them right there. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see there's a different trail coming up right here. Just keep going straight. Cause the first time we did this one, we actually took a right here and it led us to the top of the mountain. We thought the cave was gonna be up there. I'll show you right here. But that's not it. Cause by the time you get up there, and you try to come back down, it's really sketchy, really sketchy. You can go left or right here. It just goes between the bushes over there. You just gotta be careful. But this is the main one though, just keep going straight. We'll take the other way back so you guys can see the, the second path that leads you to the same place. So you guys, this trail isn't as highly trafficked as let's say like Chumash Trail um, on the way there, but I think it's cause usually everyone congregates at the cave. But um, yeah, it's pretty clear. It's nice and early out, it's fresh. So let's see what happens. Alrighty, so we got a split here. We're going to make a right. All right here, just keep going on the trail, everybody. See right here, that trail right there is the second trail that brings you in. We'll take that back, going back out. From this point on, it's gonna get a little tougher because it's, it's uphill. So you get that workout in. Feel it in the legs and in the buttocks. Here it is guys, the entrance. Alrighty folks, so I took a quick little breather here and we're ready to go ahead and start climbing on up these caves. Jaime is gonna be our beautiful model for the day because he has a knack for finding those little crevices. I already have some people up there. If you get a lot of people here, usually it's just everyone waits kind of their turn to go up.
Guys, this is the top of the climb. Um, well, kind of, yeah, we still gotta keep going in there, but um, the hard part is like right here. You may want somebody to like give you a hand to get up if you're not strong enough. Cause if you're strong enough upper, like your upper body, you can just do it yourself. But if you're not used to doing this kind of stuff, or you're not very strong, just have, yeah, just have somebody come up first and give you a hand to come up here. This cave here, you can keep going up and it just keeps spiraling up pretty much. You'll come up at the top of it. See that hole there, guys? It looks sketchy, but there's nothing in there. It's actually a dead end. Where we're going is actually towards that. Here's the top of the caves. Look at that. Look at that view, everybody. But we're gonna keep on going though. We're going to the top of the hill so you guys can see the whole valley. See right here, this is where you keep going up to get completely out of these caves here. And then we'll continue on the trail. No, I've been on trails and it's really cute. Um, they uh, decorate for Halloween. Yeah, they put little scarecrows and ghosts everywhere. At, um, in Sun Valley. Yeah, there's a lot of this gravel up here, you guys. So just watch your step. Make your balance, engage your core. This trail actually has multiple Whoa. trails that lead up. Okay. I mean, just find the one that's easier for you. The one that's to the right is actually way easier for everybody. But no, and you know, we take the tougher routes. But oh, even though, boy. but it's not that bad though. We take the big boy route. Walking on top of the hill here until we get to the really top where there's like little rocks we can sit at and look at the valley. reach the top look at this and there's spots where you can sit down enjoy the view for a couple minutes hours whatever you like we're just gonna head back down to where we came from So we're deviating, we're not going straight back 
down through the caves. Uh, we're gonna try this. Here we are again. This, when we came by the first time around, we came through this trail right here, but we're gonna go this way. This is the other trail we were talking about. It'll end up at the same spot at the beginning. It's just a different, more secluded, under some trees. Here it is, guys. True faith. True faith, true faith. Here's the main trail where we came from the beginning. We're almost off the trail. <laughs> we survived. She got stung by a bee and everything. I barely good. survived. I look crazy because I was going like this. <laughs> But it was a good trail. Um, mm -hmm. It starts out pretty easy. It gets kind of sketchy once once you pass the, the caves because of all the rocks up there and everything. Um, like I said, it's it's kind of easy slash medium. Um, I, I guess if you're not really used to it, I wouldn't come up here until you kind of got your uh, got your stamina going. Because we did see somebody up there just kind of pass out. So just gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. um, Stay hydrated. Yeah. So I mean, if you're if you have kids, I wouldn't bring them up here unless they're used to that kind of stuff. Maybe just to the cave. Yeah, and just then just head back down because once you go all the way to the top, it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. But uh, either way, we recommend it. So if you guys like the video, hit a thumbs up and subscribe.